Hi, my name is Kai, and today we want to have a look in ePlan how to sort our pages within our page navigator. In ePlan you have so many settings which makes it possible to change the sorting of your pages that I get several requests about this nearly every week. So it seems that this is a big topic and I try to make it a little bit more clear. So stay tuned. So for this video I take the ESS sample project from ePlan and maybe as you have seen already, this project is functional orientated. This comes out of the IEC 81346 and has as a result that this equal sign represents one function. You have the plus what is the location designation, what means this is one panel or one cabinet and below you have the document types according to IEC 61355. And now this structure make it a little bit complicated for me to engineer. So this is the first thing I want to change and it has also influence on the sorting of our page. What you can see here is that for example this is the first page from the enclosure A1, the second page and then comes a page from the enclosure A2 and a little bit down comes also other enclosures. So this makes it for me really complicated and this is the first setting we want to change. And therefore we go to File, Settings and here we go to our project, the sample project in my case. We go to Display and here we find the tree structure. And here we have to take care a little bit because you have one setting for the navigators for everything what you see in a navigator and you have a separate tree structure for your pages and this is what we want to adjust. So for me it's much more easier when I have the location designation above the function designation. So I can just move up it here and then I have the right sorting for, for my opinion. I click apply and OK. And now you see that your page navigator has already updated. So here on the beginning you have all the auxiliary documents or general documents which are not related to some cabinets, for example the title page. And now we have the A1 as the highest structure identifier and below comes the function. And now you have all the pages from A1 behind each other. Then comes the next cabinet, the next cabinet and the next cabinet. And now maybe you ask how you can also sort the function designation. So maybe you want to have for example GL1 and GL2 above the lightning, the EA. Or maybe you want to add a page and want to sort it somewhere within the structure. And therefore we need to go to the structure identifier management. And this is under tools and here under structure identifier management. And now we have a look for example on this GL1 and GL2. When we click now here on the function designation we see here all our function designation which are present in our project. And here we have for example GL1 and GL2. And this is something we want to shift now above the lightning. So we take GL1 and move it up with the arrow above the lightning. So then we go to GL2 and move it also up above the lightning. And when we click now apply, we need to update our project, say click on yes. We see directly here in our page navigator that already these pages has been changed from their position. The same you can do also for your document types. So for example we have our Provinet overview here in our page navigator and maybe we want to have this a little bit 
later in our drawing, maybe somewhere here. That means we just need to shift this in our structure identifier management. So therefore we go to our structure identifier management, click for example here on the EFA2 overview profinet and move it down on the position where we want to have it. For example, I want to have it after the model view. When we click apply and update our project, directly we have here the update in our page navigator and can see that the whole document structure was moved up to this position. When we click now OK, here in our project is now everything updated and we have sorted the page according our requirements. The last step is that you number your pages. Therefore you can for example mark your pages within your page navigator, make a right click and click on number. And here you have different possibilities. You can for example just structure orientated numbering or you can apply to entire project. You can set the starting number, for example I start now with 5. I have just marked two pages, so maybe I give an increment of two and click OK. And now you get a preview and click OK. And have now here in our page navigator to page five and seven instead of one and two. So with this numbering, you have also the possibility to sort your pages. When we, for example, click on the page number 5, go to the properties and change the full page name here from 5 to 9, for example, and click OK, this page will be now behind page 7. I think this makes sense. And this is the last step to sort your pages. Especially for your reports. You see that some reports are, for example, numbered with one and then has sub, sub pages. This setting we can find when we go to Tools and Generate, go to Settings, Output to Page, and here you can set for each report type if you want to have, for example, sub pages. If you want to have alphabetic with lowercase, numeric, or whatever, this is something you can select from here. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video, drop a like if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.